Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyana Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam amma bara habata fi Allah as-salamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh as-salallah kareem rabbil arshil azim in yatawallana fi dunya wal akh we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil protect us from kulli suwa makruh and protect us from the hellfire ahabata fi Allah imam al-albani he was asked about a very important question which many people uh, have questions about and that is what books should we begin as a student of knowledge with? So what are the books you recommend a young person that is starting out in his Islamic studies that he should read? Imam al-Albani, he replied, if he is a novice, then from the books of fiqh, we advise him to read fiqh sunnah of Sayyid Sabiq while seeking assistance from some of its references, such as Subul al Salam by Imam al Sin'ani. And he looks in Tamam al Manna, uh, which is by the Shaykh himself. Then that will be str stronger for him. And I advise him to read Rodata Nadiyah by Shaykh Sadiq Hassan Khan. As for the subject of tafsir, then he should habitually read from the book of Tafsir Al-Qur'an Al-Azim of Ibn Kathir. Even though it is somewhat long, even though it is somewhat long, for it is the most authentic from the books of Tafsir today. Then on the subject of religious exhortion and heart softening narration, he should read the book Riyadh Salihin of Imam al -Nawi. Then with regards to the books related to creed, I advise him to read the book Shar al aqidat al-Tahawiyah of Ibn Abi al-Izz al-Hanafi. And he should seek assistance also from my comments and explanations of it. Then he should make it his customary practice to study from the books of Shaykh al-Islam Ibn Taymiyyah and his student Ibn al-Qayyum. May Allah have mercy upon them. For I hold them to be from the rare and unique Muslim scholars that have treaded upon the methodology of the Salaf al Salih in their understanding while having taqwa and righteousness, and we do not purify anyone over Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So Imam al Albani mentioned some very important pieces of advice, and there's no reason for us to add or subtract from it, but rather, I think it is very clear, that was the advice of this great Imam, wa sallallahu wa sallam, ala nabiyya Muhammad, wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.